Good morning once again. Hope you're having a wonderful beginning of your week. I'm still here. So amen to that, right? <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, I just, well, I got my hatchet left out there. I was just chopping up some wood. I'm very meticulous about putting my stuff away after I use it. I try to be. Hello, birdies. It's so cool out here, except for the beeping of that vacuum truck, water truck. Who well, I might be working for that company soon. I talked to one of the security night ladies. It's kind of interesting. But anyway, fingers crossed. That's not what this video is going to be about. I want to talk about dissident information. Things that make you go, hmm. Like I said, in my heart, I'm a journalist, and a lot of my videos that I've been posting lately would be considered commentary or opinion writing. Most of my titles on my YouTube channel, on my videos, would actually be article titles. <clears throat> because I was thinking about the last time, those are actually opinion. If I literally wrote what I was thinking, which is, it's always easier just to talk, you know, rather than have to sit there and type and write stuff down. But at the same time, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving my opinion, my commentary. And the fact that my commentary is being restricted and blocked and shut down and removed for opinions, I could normally, for example, if I was a writer working for a newspaper and I wrote an opinion on, let's say, the snake bite, and all of a sudden some government said you can't print that, I could sue them for life. I can basically sue them because I have freedom of speech, especially if it's an opinion. Opinion is something separate. I actually experienced that once when I was in journalism. I was writing for the college paper, and I wrote a little opinion about Star. Was it? It was um, Starbucks, but it was inside Barnes and Nobles, and the female employee or supervisor was just horrible and treated me like a fucking criminal because I'd always go in and get my four shots of espresso. And then I go get some cold half and half from the little bar that they have there. Well, I went and asked them, well, you know, I went to go get my cold half and half. Like, oh, we, we, we don't do that no more. What do you mean they don't do that no more? Like, we, we basically, people have been making lattes out of, I'm like, how the fuck do you make lattes out of cold milk? It was just, I, I was looking at it like you absurd. So basically, I, doing what I normally do every day, made them change their policy about having it was ridiculous i was like people get coffee every day and they use that and that, because i use it for my ha instead of ex spending extra money to get get a latte i just get espressos and i just pour cold because i don't i don't like steamed milk and yeah so anyways i wrote an article about that and i called her a coffee nazi and she was a ball buster that was a term i used she was a bitch and the funny thing was I, I brought, so I was sneaky. I, after we printed the, the newspaper, I brought like four or five copies into the Starbucks, into the Barnes and Nobles, and I put them on the little shelf where they have all the newspapers. And it got around. The manager of um, Barnes and Nobles called my, my, the teacher at the college, my teacher at the time, and demanded, I don't know what the hell they demanded. They were demanding that they take it down or whatever, I don't know, retract it or some bullshit. He was like, I'm sorry, ma'am, that's his opinion. He's the right. He has the right to have it. Nothing I can do. Sorry. Click. He wasn't too happy about having to deal with this person, so he was kind of a little pissed at me. But I was like, I can give a shit, right? I was like, it's my opinion. Thanks for the, thanks for <laughs> thanks for playing. But it's, the other thing was, I went back into the you know to get some coffee later on, and one of the guys working there, he loved it. He was like, dude, you're awesome. He gave me free coffee. He's all, you're right. She is a bitch. She's, she's a horrible person. So yeah. Anyway, that's not that's just an example of what happens when you're a, a, a journalist and you're you're not writing a straight story. Where straight stories are different. You have to get the facts right and the who, what, when, where, and why. But opinions is all freestyle. It's whatever you want it to be. And right now in America, I'm I'm labeled a domestic terrorist because of my thoughts. I think Joe Biden is illegitimate and should be removed. I think the FBI should be disbanded. I 
think the CIA should be disbanded. I think the DOJ should be disbanded. These people are corrupt criminals. They are not working for Americans. They are not working for America. And that's my opinion. And because of that opinion, I am labeled a, a domestic terrorist. Isn't that fun? We live in some really strange times, people. Where freedom is fleeting. And that's scary. Because, like I said, they snuff out the light in America. The world is will go dark. Trust me. Look at Australia. They're trying. He's trying to put the unvaccinated in concentration camps. People are... But then again, the Australian government has been bought off by China and the pharmaceutical companies. But what most people don't realize is they actually had um, leaders coming out and saying the pharmaceutical companies were paying these politicians to push the mandate, to put the va push the vaccine because vaccine, these, these drug companies are not giving these vaccines away for free. They are making hand over fist. Joe Biden's just giving the vaccines away to other countries. Guess what? Somebody had to pay for that vaccine. It wasn't free. And you wonder why the stock market's going um, gangbusters because all these big major corporations are getting rich off of our suffering. They're getting rich from this scamdemic. So that's pretty fucked up. Now they want to they want to poison children with shots. Snake shot. They're horrible fucking human beings. Straight up. God knows it. I know it. And the universe knows it. And it's going to change. The worm's going to turn, man. And when it does, they better watch their ass. I'm mean, not me personally. I'm a shaman. I'm, I'm a holy man. I'm, I believe in love. I believe in compassion, dignity, respect. But there's a lot out there that are low vibration that have a lot of ammo and guns. And they ain't going to be fucking around. And I don't control what other people do or think. But I'm just telling you, you push... You push people far enough, they're going to get crazy. They're going to get squirrely on you. So you got to watch your ass on that one. But anyway, that's just lessons in karma. Lessons in respect and dignity towards others. You give you give out what you, you get back what you give out, right? If you're going to be the FBI and you're going to go around terrorizing Americans because they don't believe in, they, they're big fans of let's go Brandon, you know, really. I mean, simple shit like that. Anyway, dissident information. If you don't believe, if, if they don't like what you have to say, then you're automatically a bad guy. No, that's just your, their opinion. You know, if they can't take the truth or they, you know, they have thick enough skin, they're just going to put you in a concentration camp instead of having to argue with you. Argue, argue their position, which is a losing position, by the way. That's why there's no debates anymore in politics, because they're, the, the Marxists, they don't have debate skills. They only have... They're the bad guys. They're evil. They're fascist. Oh, another little side note that I think is really fascinating is you have Antifa. And, and basically Antifa's job now is to enforce max, max, ma, mask mandates. Sorry, That's their job. So if you, ever, if you had, ever had any doubts about whether or not the Antifa is basically the brown shirts of the Democratic Party, then that, has been, that myth has been dispelled. Because they were in New York... They had signs saying, mask up against fascism. What the fuck is that? So now their job is to enforce mask mandates. Antifa, a bunch of scumbags going around beating the crap out of people with masks on. I can see why they want masks. Because they, don't, they, don't, they can kill people and not be identified. Beat the crap out of innocent people walking down the street. And, because they're, they're not wearing a mask or some crap. These, these are evil people. You gotta watch your ass out there. Because I love you, and I want you to be safe. And these people are not, these are evil human beings. These are low vibrations. I don't even know if they have souls. Honestly, I really don't. I don't know what point where you lose your soul, or you give up on having a soul, or life, or, you know, love, or all that. I don't understand it myself, because I'm, I'm seeping, seeping in love. Just like I love you. And I want you to be happy, and I want you to be safe, and I want you to be free. Most of all. So, despite us being labeled domestic terrorists, which George Washington was a domestic terrorist, our founding father, who could have been king of America, but he turned it down because he goes, that's not what we were fighting for. We were fighting for independence and freedom, not some asshole in charge, like right now. Another domestic terrorist, Abraham Lincoln, when he freed the slaves, when he 
signed that proclamation. Yeah, he became a domestic terrorist to the Democrats in the South, all those Southern slave-owning Democrats that most people don't even know about. Yes, Democrat Party. They were the party of the KKK. They were the party of the Jim Crow laws. And all of a sudden now every you know everybody's supposed to vote for them. Every African American is supposed to vote Democrat. That's just insane. Mar Malcolm X warned him about that. Look what happened to that man. He was righteous in the end too. He found the light. Anyway, <clears throat> I love you. This isn't one of my more brighter ones, huh? Hope you liked the paintings in the last video. But you know it's not all fun and games, right? I put away childish things. I'm a man. This man is not going to take shit from anybody. And neither should you. Love yourself and you will never be taken advantage of because you will always be going, no, you don't know me. I love this. I love me. You can't touch this. You can't, no, you can't bullshit it. No, it doesn't work that way. Trust me. Learn to love yourself and you will be powerful. And you'll be untouchable. God and the universe will see this. They will bless you. A wonderful day. I do love you. And I know I'm a flirt. I don't care. Okay. Here's a little fire. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Have a wonderful day.